All right, so this is the third launch lord. I say launch, they're referring to the lords that are available at launch. Uh, but this was the only one that I saw that actually required an achievement to unlock it. Which, I was like, oh, wow, okay. Now, I don't know about you, but I actually kind of like the idea that rather than us having them as DLCs where we had to pay more, just lock them, you know, I know that they're not available at the moment, I know. But I also kind of like the idea of us doing something to earn unlocking playing them. And I kind of, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the idea that we unlock this guy as an, you know, via an achievement you got an achievement here here you go you got a new lord to play with so yeah this is boris ursus just a reminder this is katarin's father awoken from hibernation by urson's roar boris boka the red czar is abroad once again to defend the motherland from the forces of chaos while his daughter rules from kislev city Boris will wander the oblast, thirsty to wage war on invaders and banish the fools who think to trespass within his nation's borders. So his faction effects are diplomatic relations plus 30 with the faction of the Ice Court, which is Katarin's faction. Construction costs minus 50% for garrison and religion buildings. Construction time minus 1 for province capital and settlement buildings. Recruit rank plus two for war bear rider units and minus 50% upkeep for war bear rider units uh, as part of his lord effect, as well as leadership plus seven when fighting against warriors of chaos, demons of chaos, and Norska, and plus nine melee attack when fighting against those groups. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you're gonna be able to do some pretty nice stuff with getting uh, some of these buildings up and running. Do some nice uh, back and forth with... Of course he would be on friendly terms. I don't care what Kostalton Kost says. He's not going to turn Boris against his daughter. Otherwise, this wouldn't be a thing. Clearly, this is still his daughter. And But you can see here, also you're going to be able to take advantage of War Bear Rider units as well. He also has his own unique War Bear mount right there. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But uh, you may be going, well, how is he available? Because wasn't he frozen in ice when we looked at the uh, Kostalton... Uh, intro? Well, about that. Kislev, the bulwark against the darkness, yet the motherland suffers, severed from its god. If it is to survive, the nation needs its savior once more. The folk of Kislev think Boris Boka dead, but his body was claimed by the motherland, and he has slept in ice ever since. Yet Urson's pain roar will surely have started to rouse the Red Tsar. I journey to him now. He lays at a sacred site hidden by the great orthodoxy, deep in the cold oblasts of Kislev. If anyone can save the bear god of Kislev, it is Urson's high priest, Radi Boka, Boris Ursus. But even should I manage to wake him, I will need to make a strong case that he should listen to me. The grave of Kislev's most glorious leader. If Tsar Boris Boka did not slumber in ice, he could have safeguarded Ursul. How low the motherland has fallen without you, my Tsar. Our oh, God is taken from us. I see it in visions. His death draws near. And yet your fool daughter dallies in games of politics. If only you were here, you could save our thing. That it cannot be. I will keep the faith as Kislev dies. Farewell, my son. Poor Costalte. His zealotry blinds him to hope, deafens him to the cry from the cold void. But I hear you, Boris Boga. Your spirit stirs in Kislev's hour of need. Let me guide you to Ursus. 
For one drop of his divine blood, a fair price to save the motherland. about you but that's pretty cool <laughs> he just straight up was like he's to rescue Urson, the god bear of Kislev, from the clutches of Belico. after fraught bargaining my price is agreed and i will do all i can to guide the kislevites to their lost god like just seeing like the, the ice crack and break and he's just like ah all right you shall have it and we will save us and I was like that was just pretty awesome to see Boris just kind of burst out of the ice there that was really, that was really cool just saying I'm already liking the idea of playing this guy do not tarry with your whispers seer I know what you are but all that matters is saving Urson. Let us get on with it. Your Majesty, it is wise to begin your quest to rescue Urson far from the motherland, in territory once claimed by Kislev centuries ago. Ruins of ancient Kislevite forts should be retaken, but the orcs bar your way. Make war on the Greenskins and wipe them out. Heading west across the High Pass may well secure a route back to the Motherland and strengthen the nation, but could undermine your daughter's reign. Perhaps it is better to go north. That is where the forces of chaos gather. Demons desperate to scour Kislev. We have a chance to head them off and ensure they never set foot in the motherland. All the while, my tome ruminates on a way to bypass the maelstrom, so we may enter the Chaos Realms and save Urson. Until then, the Red Tsar walks the world once more. Let Kislev's enemies cower at your name. Okay. So interesting starting position for Boris here. Up here compared to... I guess over here is... No, that's the sea. No, oh, I guess it's down here. Okay, so yeah, this is more so where Kislev would be over here. Yeah, there it is. So he's way over here. That's interesting. And we start off against orcs. So it looks like very much the exact same mechanics that are just part of any of the Kislev factions here, but... Um, let's see. So he starts off with Corsairs, War Bear Riders, of course, and a little Grom, an artillery unit. Wonderful. So look at that. He looks really cool. So here it is. Erskine. That's his uh, unique bear mount. Greatest of all the bear mounts, the bear brother who awaits his legendary rider, Boris Bolka. So... As far as quest stuff, he has the Shard Blade and the Armor of Urson. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing through the campaign on this guy. Um, I, you know, even though some of the uh, Urson mechanics, you know, he's got the Ice Cord, of course he does, um, and he's going to have the Ottomans as well, but. Uh, I don't know, he may end up being a bit more fun to play than uh, Katarin. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Like I said, this is the first time I've actually uh, booted up trying to, you know, play as him. So, we... I will uh, be looking forward to trying that out and see what it's like. Um, 
Boris Urthos yeah. himself. So that's his trait there, the Red Czar. Okay, so that's the uh, intro for... <laughs> I just love that intro. He's frozen in ice until it's brought up, hey, by the way... Urson needs your help, and he just bursts out of the ice like, All right, let's save my my bear god. <laughs> I'm back. You all thought I was dead. No, I'm back. <laughs> that, was, that was just really cool. So those are the three launch uh, Kislev lords. When we return, um, we will be taking a look at a different faction. Stay tuned.